Today I am here with a concert grant, but this isn't just any old concert grant. This is actually a particularly odd concert grant that I didn't even know Samic made. But yes, today I am here sitting at a Samic concert grant. Now, I believe Samic was an Asian piano company, not from Japan, but from some other Asian country. I don't know exactly where they were, um, where they made their pianos and where they were based out of, so I'm not even going to guess. But I don't think they were from Japan. I think they were from some other Asian country. And apparently they made a concert grant. I've been quite familiar with some of their smaller model pianos, but the Samic company apparently made concert grand pianos. Now I believe that today Samic is out of business. Uh, that could be incorrect, but they didn't show up at NAM 2017, which doesn't necessarily mean they're out of business, but I did hear somewhere that they did in fact go out of business. We have a fallboard, of course. It looks very nice, a uh, very nice high gloss black finish. And it is a uh, concert grant from 1990, in case you were curious. Now, what's interesting about the keys is that they have a, they are plastic, but they have a yellowed kind of color to them, which could have means that either this piano sat, the keyboard had some sun shining on it at some point, or they were originally made to be yellow to kind of imitate the ivory color, because on the keys, they have a, they're not a solid white color, they kind of have like an ivory color to them, and there's a little bit of pattern uh, there's little patterns and they're actually different on some of the keys, which is kind of interesting. So it's kind of like they just took two different colors of plastic, blended them together so that to create these streaks and then made the key tops out of them. So that's kind of interesting. The black keys appear to be plastic as well. And uh, so that is the keyboard. We have a sticker over here that says Imperial German Scale, which is kind of interesting. And uh, it's just a little sticker that's put onto the left-hand side of the piano on the cheek block. And I think that's kind of interesting. On the inside here, we have a few more little badges. This one here is a little crest showing two lions. I guess they're playing a harp. And uh, I guess, is that Samick's badge? I don't know, but it's a kind of interesting little badge. Over here, we have the serial number for the piano outlined in uh, interesting scroll work. It says IJKG0779. Um, some piano manufacturers um, do it so that the last few digits are the actual number of piano. And if that is how Samick does it, this was the 799th concert grand made. That might not have been how they did it, but it also could have been. This is the model, this is the SG275, meaning that this instrument is 275 centimeters long. And then under here, it's gonna be difficult to see, but there is a Samic badge, and above it, it says, scale design by K. Fenner, which must have been the German man who invented the scale for this piano. That's kind of interesting. There's also a very large, very ornate Samic Pianos badge on the inside of the soundboard as well. Many piano manufacturers do that, and Samic did it as well. It's kind of reminiscent of the Yamaha badge that they use, because this kind of has an old time style with the uh, interesting scroll work and the wreath of what kind of looks like maybe olive leaves or something. Yamaha has a somewhat similar badge that has kind of an older style with old sc Yamaha script in the inside. And perhaps I imagine that this instrument was meant to compete with Yamaha's concert grant of the time because it has rather similar qualities. If we take a look at the inside of this piano, we can see that the harp is very simple. A lot of times piano manufacturers will put a manufacturing badge here, or they might have some little designs here, particularly in older pianos, like from the turn of the century, there's lots of writing and stuff back here. But this piano has literally no writing whatsoever on the inside of the harp. It's just a very smooth design with lots of portholes and these very large ornate, well, not they're very ornate, but they look like little cups. They're like little goblets that you can put liquid in and drink out of, and they're the actual nose bolts. Another interesting feature of this piano is we have a little lock here for the lid so that when you transport the piano, the lid can, will not flop open during transport and cause issues. The lid stick here is pretty standard. We have two lid sticks and one. This here is a smaller little lid stick here that fits inside of the first one, and there's some felt in there to keep it from buzzing. An interesting note about the lid of this piano. When I first discovered it, the lid was at the smaller position, and so I wanted to open up the piano and see what it sounded like. And I can do that on my Steinway Concert Grand. The lid is heavy, but I can actually lift it up to the full height, put the lid prop in, and uh, have it up at the max height. But I go to pick up the lid on this piano, and it was really heavy. I could lift it up, but I really didn't want to lift it up this high above my head to put the lid prop in because I might have dropped it and crushed my fingers or something like that or hurt the piano. So something about this lid has made it extremely heavy. It could be made of composite materials or it could have metal beams inside of it for security. It does have these large wooden braces, kind of similar to how Steinway and Yamaha do on their pianos. They seem to be wood, and so they're not like a big metal brace on there, but. If, if a brace was about this heavy made of solid metal, that would add about a significant amount of weight to the lid. And if that was metal, that's why I would say that the lid on this panel weighs so much. 
As you can see, this piano was from 1990, like I said, and so the strings and everything on the inside are in very good condition. In fact, they look quite like new. It's possible they were replaced, or the lid on the piano has been closed for most of its entire life, therefore preserving the strings and preventing them from getting much dust on them, and therefore the bass end of this piano is very shiny and also has a very nice sound to it. Speaking of sound, you're probably interested in hearing what does the Samic Concert Grand sound like? I wonder how many of you have ever heard one of these. I don't even know they made a Concert Grand model. So I'm going to come around to the front of the piano and play a few different pieces on it to give you an idea of what it sounds like. So the first song that I'm going to play on this piano is a, an original composition that I wrote that I play on many of the pianos that I find. It's in, I wrote it to test out the pianos. It starts off in the treble and it goes down into the tenor. And it's a good way to test out the sound of a piano, but I'm also going to play some other music on this piano as well. So make sure to stick around for that. Now in person, this piano has a rather bright sound, but it's possible the recorder might pick it up differently because sometimes that happens. Sometimes I'll come along and say, oh, this piano has a certain sound, and then on the recording, it actually sounds different. So this piano might sound really bright on the recording like it does in person, or it might have a slightly more mellow sound or a slightly more rich sound. But in person, what I'm hearing is that this piano has a rather bright sound, very much like the Yamaha pianos of the time. Today, Yamaha is going towards a more rich, more mellow, more Fazioli-like tone. But uh, back in the day of 1990, Yamaha had very bright, very powerful, and very loud pianos. They were focusing more on the loudness and brightness of their pianos rather than the subtlety and richness of tone. At least that's what I've noticed in Yamaha's. And that's another reason why I feel that this Samic uh, Concert Grand was competing with Yamaha's Concert Grand of the time as well. The badge on the inside is similar. The, uh, the two braces on the underside of the lid are identical to the way Yamaha uses them. I know Steinway uses more. And I think Steinway uses four little braces, or maybe it's three. Yamaha uses two, and Samic also uses two. And also, like I said, the sound of this piano reminds me of Yamaha's from the 90s. Now, I'm sure that many of us are familiar with the reputations that pianos from other Asian countries other than Japan have, and I'm not going to talk about that uh, in this video, but Samic has put a lot of effort into making this piano nice. The action in this piano is really great. I'm willing to bet that it's a Renner because it has a very, very responsive and very light feeling. It gets a little bit more substantial down here into the bass because the hammers are heavier, and sometimes that happens on pianos, but particularly up here, it's very light, it's very responsive, and it feels quite nice. So the next piece that I'm going to play on this piano is a hymn that was written, uh, that was uh, reharmonized by Bach. It was originally written for the organ, but I think it sounds pretty good on pianos, and it focuses more on the mid-range and bass of the piano, so it's another good song to play on the piano. As I said, this piano has a bit of a bright sound to it, and I think that perhaps if you were to um, voice the hammers a little bit and bring them down slightly, I think this piano might have a much warmer tone to it that would be a bit better for playing in a small room such as what I'm in right now. However, if you were to take this piano and put it out on a concert stage, that bright tone would really be great for punching through all the other instruments in the orchestra and really coming through and sounding out at the top. It seems to have a lot of power in the room I'm in right now, which is a good sign for an orchestral piano. And uh, another thing I wanted to mention is this, this piano is probably one of the cheapest 
priced concert grants that, I've, I've, that I have ever found. So if somebody was looking for a concert grant to put in front of an orchestra, perhaps for a school or something, this would be a pretty good option because it plays well and it seems to have a lot of power. And to demonstrate this piano's amount of power, I'm going to play just a little bit of the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. It's a very loud song and it is a good song to demonstrate on a piano. I think playing loudly like that is where this piano really shines because it seems to have an absolute, uh, it's, it seems to be an absolute powerhouse. There's kind of no limit to how loud it can go. Now it is facing against a wall, which will kind of factor in the loudness of the piano because a lot of the sound that's coming out of the piano is bouncing off that wall and directly back at me. But I think that this piano would still have a lot of power if you put it into a big room. And again, that bright tone would really help it stand out against a lot of the other instruments in the orchestra. And like I said, I think it would be a pretty good instrument for an orchestra. Orchestra. So I hope you enjoyed this video on this interesting Samic piano. Again, let me know if you've heard of, I mean, not that if you've heard of Samic concert grants, but if you've ever seen one in person, or if you've ever had one, or if you've had any experiences with it, I'd love to know your story on it, and also if you have heard of uh, Samic concert grant, because I didn't know they made a concert grant model piano. Now, if you're interested in where I found this piano, I'll put the source information in the description of this video, so you can come play it for yourself. They also have a lot of other cool pianos, and also other instruments here as well. They have a harpsichord and a church organ here, which is really cool as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to go check out my channel, you can. I've got lots of videos on all kinds of concert grants. I haven't done all of them, as you can see, because I just now found the Samic, but I do have Bosendorfer, Yamaha, Steinway, Fazioli, all of these really cool brands of concert grants on my channel. So if you want to go check that out, you can. And if you want to subscribe, thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.